guys squad welcome back to my vlog channel my second channel rocking the merch check it out peace bowl you know because I firmly believe that pit bulls are totally misunderstood and misjudged because my pit bull is amazing anyways guys I have been teasing you guys on Twitter I've been teasing you guys on Instagram that there's a huge surprise I literally just saw a pelican fly above I don't know why pelicans have been like oh, oh anyways anyways off track I've been teasing you guys that there's a big surprise coming and I've been working on this and it's true. So this kind of sounds outlandish, it kind of sounds weird, it sounds like a crazy story. I know, believe me I know. So I've always wanted to hatch eggs and incubate eggs, like hatch them. When I was little I actually would grab some eggs, like chicken eggs and stuff from like my grandparents fridge and I would get the egg and I would put it like underneath something warm and like think that I was gonna you know, have a chick hatch out. Well, I realized that it doesn't really work that way. You have to use a fertilized egg and you have to incubate it correctly. Otherwise, you end up with a stinky rotting egg. So I was browsing around on YouTube and I stumbled upon a page called A Chick Named Albert. So this guy successfully hatched eggs from a grocery store and I was like, Mind blown, okay? So, I have been wanting a bird since I released my rescued sparrow. I hand raised an orphan baby sparrow. I'll have that link in the description down below. Basically, I had to hand feed it every 30 minutes from 8 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. all day long. It was crazy. It was an intense, but it was so worth it. And I've been wanting birds, but I didn't want like that type of commitment, you know, raising a baby again. Obviously, if I were to find one, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Jay and I's first pet was a quail. Now we didn't know it was a quail at the time. We went to a pet store and we were looking for a pet and we were like, man, this bird right here, I don't know what it is, but it looks so sad and lonely. And so we ended up taking it home and that was our first pet together. It was a quail. And I, I don't know what kind of quail it was actually. I think it was a Japanese quail. Anyways, I ordered an incubator on Amazon and I went to an oriental market and I picked up some quail eggs and then I put them in my incubator. So we're starting here, day one. Um, you guys are just gonna watch the journey. This is gonna be the whole journey through incubation. If they hatch, I don't know. Am I gonna get lucky and be able to hatch an egg from the grocery store? I have no idea. So I'm super excited and follow my journey, guys. So we're pulling up to the Oriental Market and uh, we're gonna see if they have any quail eggs. So let's go. the 14th of wow. December. Jay just put the candling flashlight in his eyes. Whalians are expected to hatch in about four days. So we're super excited. So we have a warm cup of water. It's not too hot, but it's not cold either. And this is a test. So we're gonna put the egg in there and if it moves, that means there's a baby chick in there. And it's gonna be moving around. Like, like when a baby's in the mom's stomach and they kick, that's what the chicks will do in the egg. Oh my gosh, okay. We have this set up. Oh, it looks like sci-fi. What number is this guy? We're gonna candle this one. Oh my god, there is life. There, there's, look at that. You can see the veins, do you see the yeah, veins? Yeah, veins, yeah. Wow, okay. Thank you. No, plop them in, plop them Put in them nice. Put them in nice. Cover his brothers and sisters up. Okay, so now we are waiting for the egg to move. Oh my god, oh my god, did you see that? It's moving. It's moving! That is so cool. Look at that move. That's, oh my gosh. I, it's, it's very subtle, but I think you guys can see it. Wow, so there is life in there, guys. What number is he? This is number four. Four. Look, I can feel him in there. You can feel him in there, though. That's so weird. It's weird, yeah. Worried bird mom over here. Worried bird mom. <laughs> All right, that is... That is so cool, you guys. I've never hatched eggs before, and I'm just like so excited. Ah! We're Quailian parents. We're Quailian parents! Parents! Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so it is day 15. 
This is the day where I'm supposed to up the humidity and get ready for hatching. So within two to three days, we should start to see some baby quailians if we're lucky. I'm just gonna take the top off of this. I went ahead and candled a bunch of the eggs. A lot of the eggs that weren't fertilized, I just ended up taking out. And then there's a couple, there's a bunch of eggs actually that I can't even see. I can't candle them because the shells are too thick and I can't even see in them. So I just went ahead and left those in. So I'm just pouring some water in there and we are getting ready. So I had the humidity at 45. We want it to be at like 60 to 70 getting ready for the hatch. This is the day you also stop rotating your eggs so these eggs will not be rotated anymore. And oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I'm just going to go ahead and move them. That way they can position themselves and get ready to hatch. All right, time to close it up and hope for the best. Good luck, my baby quailians. Good luck. I wonder which ones are gonna hatch. I wonder if any of them are gonna hatch. Oh my gosh, this is like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Now we are picking out the chicken wire for our little brooding box we are gonna make for the baby quailians. We can use the chicken wire, but I think the cats will cut themselves on the little hinges. When I made this with my mom in the past, we used chicken wire, but we didn't have cats. So we're going to use these little square ones. Okay guys, so let me introduce you to my brooder box. Now this might be a little bit big. I have no idea how many quailians are going to be hatching, but one thing I do know is Franklin is a little freaked out about the box. <laughs> making a DIY brooder. I've never made this before. I'm not gonna act like a pro. I'm just winging it. So I want to be able to see inside of all of my brooder. So I'm going to cut a big rectangle in the whole top. I've seen some people do it where they did two squares, one square here, one square there. I wanna just do it one big thing. It's thicker than we think. Are you doing it? Or are you just scor scorching it? Oh, you're doing it. Wow! I made these guys. I've made these before my mom. You made these with your mom? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do we have to do next, brood box expert? Get the chicken wire and attach it. Now, can you hold just that piece down? It would be very good. It's not even that sharp. Yeah. All right, we got a cat trying to sabotage the lights over here. Very so, easy. Is that actually cutting? Yeah. Really? All right, guys. Now Nicole's gonna snip all the little ends off after she put them through. All right, so now we are lining the bottom with paper towels. When they are around three weeks old, we are going to switch to the pine shavings under there. All right, so we have the bird feeder here, and then we have uh, the water feeder. Franklin actually got a hold of this, so shout out to you, Franklin. And we also bought a clear heat lamp bulb for chicks. So this is actually Hubert, my uh, old tortoise's light, and I don't know if we need to get a new light because the light bulb's like protruding out of it, but. So this is what it looks like with our lid on top, and I think that looks great. So we're super excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We are going to be quailian parents, quailian parents. I don't know how many are gonna hatch, no one knows, but I seen some eggs moving in the incubator, and I thought it looked really cute. I thought, I saw at least two move in the incubator, so. 
any day now, any day now, tomorrow, the next day, we should have some baby quailians. So, oh my gosh, oh my god. And they were from the grocery store. I didn't even know that any of them would be fertile. Like, that was insane. Even just knowing that they were fertile, like, whew. so excited. Okay, guys, so it is day 17, early in the morning, and I just chucked the eggs, and I don't know if you guys can see or not, but right on top of this egg right here oh it goes out of focus well if you look at the top of the egg we have cracks so one chick is hatching right now oh my gosh i will continue to document this while they start to hatch i'm so excited oh my gosh it's hatching oh my god oh my god God, you guys, I cannot believe this. This is insane. This was like one of the most beautiful miracles I've ever witnessed. This was so beautiful. So I already have his incubator set up. I just need to wait for him to dry off a little bit in the incubator and then we will move him so the egg just hatched i literally don't have any like makeup on because it's the morning and like haha <laughs> i wasn't expecting this anyways the baby's still in the incubator and i'm just like i'm like, I'm like we got our first little baby oh my god i'm just like is everything okay like did i do everything right is he fine does he have crippled legs like you know is he too hot in there now is he dry enough can i take him out like am i doing this right <laughs> he could stay in Oh, what do you think? Isn't oh, she so cute? She's so cute. Or him? We don't know yet. Oh, it's all over the place. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I just looked up when I should take the baby Qualian out of the incubator. And a lot of people say they leave him in for 24 hours, um, which I don't really want to do. I don't think that's fair to them. <laughs> when you open up the incubator, it causes a drop of humidity or whatever and that affects chickens and other things but so this form says game bird chicks and quail is considered a game bird game bird chicks should be removed as soon as they dry for best results if you have a hatch in progress don't worry about opening the baiter as the chicks drying will correct any humidity drop and in most cases even cause a transient spike game birds do not have their reserve chickens and other poultry do they need food and water at a much sooner stage oh my god it's so cute Okay guys, so now he is all dried off. We are going to transfer him or her. Okay, so I have the brood box all set up. I have seashells in his water dish. And now I'm just going to transfer the little baby. He's like, no, I want to stay on you. So cute. Oh, he just wants to stay on me. So ah! What do you think, Bubba Bird? I am so happy. Beyond happy. <laughs> it was a miracle. It's like a miracle. What do you guys think? Nope. I think anything. So it has been a couple hours, and this is still our only chick that has hatched so far. We are starting to learn some pecking. I have been trying to get her to drink there we go oh my gosh this is the first time she's drank whoa that's good stuff that is good stuff it's in this little shell oh my gosh that is so great yes so I was reading on forms that it's hard to get a chick to drink when they're the only ones because they normally look at their brothers and sisters and mimic what they're doing but since she 
is the only one. It's a little bit more difficult, but she has a couple big drinks, so I'm going to say that's perfect. Uh oh. It says, ew, that tastes gross. So yeah, hopefully we have new babies tomorrow. That way they have friends. They's plural, but you know, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, so I'm just gonna call them they. I want you to have little baby quail friends, with little quaily, and you want some friends. Okay guys, so I have a huge surprise. Seven quailians ended up hatching. Oh my god, like when I went to the grocery store, I was honestly planning on maybe getting one egg that was fertile out of the batch. Out of about 25, we got seven fertile eggs. That's so cool. Okay, oh my gosh, let's, let's go. Let's go and see them. Now, have no fear, they are in a room, their own room with a shutting door. So here are our babies, and I am so happy Franklin loves them. Well, he really doesn't care too much. So I will be getting a new water dish since Franklin did chew it up. But until then, that will do with the little seashells. So I am just so happy that all of my little quails were healthy. We didn't have any of them die. The, the ones that hatched all are drinking and eating and happy and healthy and I just feel very blessed that I didn't have to, um, you know, go through any type of disformities or anything. I'm also extremely happy uh, about the incubation. I think the incubation process went extremely well. Um, a lot of people have a lot of trouble. I was reading forms after forms about, you know, everything that can go wrong and I'm just so happy that, you know, we kept our temperature and our humidity all at the right temperatures. So yeah, super happy about that. And um, yeah, subscribe to this channel to follow our journey. We will be keeping these birds as pets. Um, I do plan on using the eggs they will lay for my dogs. I'm going to, uh, you know, my dogs eat eggs almost every day and uh, I will just use those eggs for the dogs. Right, they're gonna make you eggs to eat? That's nice of them, you have to say thank you. So yeah, it'll be cool, you know, money saving and you have, you know, a cool little pet. So I'm super excited about that. Now, as you can see, this one is a lot lighter than the other ones. It's kind of like a yellow color, which is pretty cool. It's cool that we have a little color variation. And yeah, there's, there's only a couple I can tell apart from each other, like this one right here. I can tell because he has a little golden spot on his butt. Um, and then these ones, I can't really tell. We had three of them hatch at the same time, so I didn't really get to spend time with them individually. And um, yeah, boy, I was not expecting seven quails, but, <laughs> but I am so excited and happy to have them. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And uh, yeah, this was like a little special, a little holiday special, because it's like two days before, well, today's Christmas Eve. Um, and we got the Christmas Quailians, so it's a, it's a nice little little surprise. I'm really, I'm really shocked that any of them hatched. Wow. Anyways, love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.